two questions to follow up on the Havana Act. One of the complaints that I hear a lot from people who believe that they were targeted by these attacks and also suffering from the so-called Havana Syndrome is the disparity in acknowledgement and also treatment depending on the country in which they were attacked. So they're saying if they were attacked in Cuba, the government would admit and acknowledge, uh, but if it happens in China, the government would not readily admit. So would you say this is a fair characterization? Is there a reason for this, diplomatic or not? And would you commit to treating all the victims and supporting them in the same way, no matter where they were attacked? It's hard to speak to anonymous sources here, Patsy. I would say that, as I noted earlier, our objective and the President's commitment is to standardizing the reporting process, is to ensuring we're improving the quality and speed of medical care, is of ensuring every case that comes forward uh, is taken seriously, treated seriously. That has not always been the case, but that is our objective and the commitment of this administration. And just to follow up on that, I understand uh, you've explained how you want to standardize a process uh, of reporting. But will that include some sort of centralized support system, maybe a hotline or a task force where the victims can go and call? Because right now when I'm talking to the victims, they're saying they have to fight a skeptical bureaucracy. They don't know how to find care uh, from doctors who understand the syndrome, for example. And they just don't know how to take care of themselves and their families having to fight all of this bureaucracy. Well, I'm not sure that your characterization. I Look, this is a priority for every national security agency. It's something that many members of our national security team have spoken to personally, passionately, themselves and their commitment to addressing this. We've also taken a number of very concrete steps. Each agency has their own process and system, but what we're working to do is coordinate it. So it's, it's, I, I think it's not really fair to speak to one or two anonymous cases uh, when this is a, an across the government effort, commitment, priority. The President signed a bill in to law today. We've put a number of steps into, into place that are incredibly concrete. The President has acknowledged this is a problem. We're using every resource in the government to address it, and I think that really speaks to the President's commitment. Go ahead. 